So I've got this problem. Every single week we do a stream on Sunday. Usually I try and complete a plugin in less than three hours. And we like to have some fan engagement and interaction, so we add anyone who wants to to our private testing server to test these plugins live on stream. The problem is that my buddy Coco has to manually add the Discord uh, playtesting role, send people server IPs, add them to the whitelist. It's a giant mess. So in this video, we're going to create a Discord bot that automatically adds all and, and just handles all of these things, except it's going to be a Minecraft plugin. So let's get into that. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you know exactly when I upload a new video or schedule a new stream. If you have coding questions or want to connect with our community, join our community Discord. We have a lot of awesome people there, and we'd love to see you on our server as well. One final thing, if you're watching this about when it comes out, 9-13, September 13th at 11 a.m., we have our Sunday stream. We're doing a three-hour challenge, which uh, the poll for what we're doing is still open, but it's looking a lot like we're going to do a duels plugin. So we're going to see if I can make a duels plugin in less than three hours. It's going to be crazy. Please join us there. It's going to be super exciting. All right, enough with that. Let's get right into the video. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I've got our plugin here with our palm.xml configured. Uh, we've got this JDA dependency with some exclusions, which is just our, uh, it's called the Java Discord API. And we've got all this set up. We've got the version of the API that doesn't include audio support because we don't need audio in this bot. If you're doing something with voice channels, you'll need this, but that's probably not great for a Minecraft plugin. Um, and it looks like we're going to need to talk about this thing called a listener adapter. There's a whole bunch of stuff. I've looked at this briefly last night um, before making this video, but I really don't know anything about how this works. We're going to have to make a new Discord bot with the developer portal there, add it to a server, all sorts of stuff. It's going to be really exciting. So let's go ahead and look for, here we go, create default token. So I know we got to go to um, the developer, eh, developer portal for Discord. And I'm already logged in, so we'll make a new application called Playtesting App. Okay. And, all right, that sounds fine. So we'll, we'll look at a bot here. We'll add a bot. And here is our Playtesting App bot. Um, I'm not going to show the token. Um, I'm going to put this in a configuration file real quick. So I'll just show that happening over here. So I'm going to say Discord, whoops, Discord token. Um, that's not YAML though. Hold on, I forgot how to do YAML. <laughs> there we go. Okay, awesome. So there's that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, put it in that uh, config file and never open it again. Okay, so I've copied our token here, which of course I'm not going to show. And let's go down here, bot permissions. So I've seen parts of this. Um, we know we need to manage roles and um, I don't know about channels. For sure, Send messages. Um, is there anything about reactions? Add reactions? No, we, we probably don't need to add reactions. We'll just need to receive them. So we have this thing called a permissive, eh, permissions integer. Now I know there's a website that generates a, a join server link. Um, whoa, how did I do that? Uh, we don't want to do that. Let's go back down. Administrate. Oh, no, we don't want that. <laughs> um, sheesh, manage roles and uh, send messages. Okay, so let's go ahead and search for Discord uh, bot join server link generator, maybe. Adding a bot to your servers, generate invite link. We'll take a look at this first one. Um, okay. Cool. Parishions parameter. Okay. Oops. So we'll take the link we got here. We need our client ID, which I believe is right here and scope is bot. All right, playtesting app, it's right here, perfect. Now we'd like to add this to my Jordan Osterberg server. Um, and in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new Discord server here. Um, add a server, we'll just uh, create my own called uh, Jordan Osterberg bot test, test ground. Just so I have uh, some control about what happens here. And manage server, that's fine, we're good. All right, we'll do our CAPTCHA. It's very exciting stuff, guys. Oh, we're good. So, playtesting app is, is on. That's that's cool. Um, what else do I do? I think that's it. I mean, I, I really don't think there's much else I have to do. Um, we'll, 
Oops, oh my gosh, I keep clicking that. We definitely want to uh, keep our token here uh, so we can start writing our code, but I think we're set on the Discord portal end. So I'm just gonna, well, okay, I'll just, I'll, I'll keep that right there. <laughs> so I'm gonna go into our plugin and get our token. So string Discord token is gonna be get config, get string, call it Discord underscore token. And if Discord token is null, then we're just going to say uh, bucket dot shoot do, do, do. <laughs> How do I disable a thing? Uh, get server, get plugin manager, disable plugin this. Oh, here we go. Okay, we can disable the plugin and we'll say get logger uh, severe. Please provide a Discord token in the, um, what would it be in the config.yml file? Awesome. Uh, save default config. We'll call that first so we know it'll it'll save this default when we have here. And I think that should be good to go. Uh, so let's create a private JDA here, I think. Uh, Discord bot. We'll call that variable. And we'll set that equal to a new JDA builder. And no, that's not how you do it. Okay. JDA builder. Ah, oh, it's a static function. So, well, oops. JDA builder and create, we can give it a token. I think we'll create default. Yep, that's fine. We have our token here. And let's say build for right now. What does this return? Uh, login exception, we'll just use uh, Lombok to add sneaky throws, which just means the exceptionally handled for us and um, we don't have to deal with try catch. That's really all that means. Um, this is not always the best option, but it sort of just gets it out of the way for us right now. So let's pause for just one second. I realized that this video took about an hour to film, and not all of that hour was actually interesting content. It was mostly just me fiddling around and praying that everything would work. So I thought I would summarize some major events uh, instead of letting you guys watch that full unedited hour because, oh boy, it's boring. So we created a Discord event listener, which extends this thing called listener adapter, which basically just allows us to listen to different Discord events and respond to messages and so on and so forth. We then made sure that when messages were sent in the uh, playtesting IGN's channel, they're actually real Minecraft usernames and not something else. So we can't add a bunch of random garbage to the IGN whitelist. And finally, we tried to use the Minecraft server whitelist system before realizing that uh, we could actually code it ourselves in about five minutes. And we did that and it worked just fine. And then I went and cried for a little bit because I had just wasted about, oh, 40 minutes of my time. So with that, let's cut right back to some video highlights about uh, what was actually interesting here. I hope you guys enjoy. So now if we reload our plugin, let's just run the clear command again. And, oh, there we go. Perfect. So now we'll uh, go ahead and say, have my name. Okay, so that didn't exactly work either. Um, we can we can fix that up. But now if we say play test, or if we try and log on to the server now, it says play testing is enabled. So let's say disable. Playstation, however, that's good. 
If we try and log on, playtesting hasn't started. Playtesting bot will notify you when playtesting begins. Cool. And then say playtesting enable. And now floodgates are open. If I again say disable, it kicks us right off. So that's awesome. Um, yeah, sort of an informal video, I know, but I just sort of needed to get this plugin made. I also figured it'd be kind of fun to teach you all about how Discord bots can work as a Minecraft plugin, which was a little bit unconventional. And yeah, I will have all of this code run, um, up on GitHub publicly um, when this video is released, so check the description. Um, obviously, I'm not including my, <laughs> my uh, config token, but that's okay. Um, yeah, we should be awesome. So thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, leave a like and subscribe to the channel with that bell notification. Also remember, we have our stream on uh, Sunday the 13th, so please be there. That uh, schedule will go live on uh, probably tomorrow sometime, so the day after this video, or the day, the day of this video releasing sometime later in the day um, or thereabouts. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed. Take care.